the sex-starved marriage. I'm going to talk today about a marriage where there's not a lot of sex. There's not a lot of intimacy. If that's you or someone you know, I want you to stay tuned and watch that. Now, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. There's a little thing to subscribe and a little bell that you can click so you get our new videos because we have a lot of stuff that can help people. Now, if you're in a sex-starved marriage, you might have a question. There's a box right below here. Put your question there. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible because you're in pain if you're in a sex-starved marriage. I want to talk to you about the sex star of marriage. This is a marriage where there's usually not a lot of intimacy as well as sexuality. It's not about there just not being sex. You feel married and alone, disconnected, unwanted. You have hurt, resentment, anger building up. You might be feeling trapped with the kids and other responsibilities or the image of being married. But why? Why are you in a sex-starved marriage? Well, if you're watching this, oftentimes you're the spouse. And I did a video called The Sex-Starved Husband, Sex-Starved Wife, if you want similar information. But I'm gonna walk you through why, because that's what you're banging your head against. So let me give you a few ideas. And if you haven't seen our video, Sexless and Married, I spend two hours going through a lot more information than I can go through here. But here's the number one reason why you might be in a sexless marriage or a sex-starved marriage, and maybe everything else looks good, but the bedroom is empty and alone. Intimacy anorexia. If you haven't heard that term, Google it. We have lots of videos of that on YouTube as well. You can check that out. Here's the basics. Intimacy anorexia is the active withholding of spiritual, emotional, and sexual intimacy from your spouse Everyone else thinks your spouse is amazing and wonderful. But you know, when you go home, you don't even want to go home. You're not going to be connected to, chatted with, engaged, pursued, teased. You're just going to be tolerated and you're going to be frustrated. But you go home every day and it's lonely. So here's the characteristics. They're too busy for you. They blame you for all the problems in the marriage. They withhold love, especially the way you want to be loved. They withhold spiritually, even if they're spiritual leaders. Um, they withhold sex, the whole continuum of sex, romance, uh, of fondling, groping, even foreplay, talking during sex or after sex or leaving you after sex or treating you poorly after sex, blaming you for why we're not having sex, all that kind of stuff, okay? Unwilling when able to share their feelings with you. They don't open up their heart. It feels closed, okay? Using anger or silence as a way to control you. Ongoing or ungrounded criticism. Sometimes they control around money, but lastly, you feel like a roommate. And if you've had that conversation of, I feel like a roommate, we're not really getting along. Why are we not having sex? And you can't get an answer that actually makes sense. Check out intimacy anorexia. Now there are some other causes. There's psychological disorders. I don't have enough time to get into those, but you know, the sexless and married uh, tape can help you with that. I spend two hours going through some of those. Could be depression, if there's a, a history of that. Could be low thyroid, you know, where there's just no sex drive because the thyroid's not operating. Or even the hormones can be out of balance. And even women who have low testosterone drop sex drive. So if you're, you know, kind of 30, 40, 50 or older, you might want to check out some of those physical things. But you don't need to stay in a sex-starved marriage. That's why I did this uh, tape right now. You don't have to stay that way, regardless of what it is. You can find the problem if the person is willing and start moving toward intimacy. I have worked with thousands of couples who haven't had sex. And they are married, having sex, like each other, romantic and in love. This is a solvable problem if both people are willing. So. If you are the husband, we have a married and alone Facebook group for you. If you're a wife, we have one for you. We have telephone counseling. We do intensives. People fly in every week and they, they really make a lot of progress on this issue. So if you are stuck, you don't have to stay stuck. Reach out, maybe a question, get into a group, call our office. 
We really want to see you have not only a sexual marriage, but an intimate, connected, romantic, organic, I'm with my friend, marriage.